It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and we've come to the end of the new Tesco beer release. Had lots and lots of comments recently on the channel saying, hey, you've reviewed so many IPAs and so many New England IPAs lately on the channel that this is just quite frankly getting boring now. Well, if you're bored watching it, then think how I feel. <laughs> now I've hit a, I hit a, a, a kind of a plateau, a boredom point with New England IPA a long, long time ago, a long, long time ago. And I'm almost sad to be honest to, 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 to show you today's beer because Conway Bragdy Brewery up in North Wales produce some terrific traditional ale. You can get some, they've got a beer called Rampart, which is just fantastic. And, and more kind of just traditional, great tasting ales. But as is always the case, if there's something that's really popular in, in, in any industry, and somebody like Tesco comes along and say, hey, Conway, Will you brew us half a million cans of New England IPA? Then who are they to say no? Any company that would refuse that, well, they wouldn't be putting their business interests first, would they? And although it's a shame that Conway, I mean, this could be fantastic. I hope it is, because then it won't be so much of a shame, would it? And I always almost feel like, I mean, this is probably exciting times for Conway. They've canned a craft beer. They've made a New England IPA. They probably see themselves as making great strides within their own business. And, and I'm really sorry if anybody from Conway is watching this. And maybe you feel like I've burst your bubble a little bit. It was never my intention to do that. I'm just talking about my own audience here and I'm talking about kind of the amount of New England IPA that's on the market at the moment and, and, and myself, others, we're all a bit bored of it now. We really are all a bit bored of it. 6% ABV. This is the last one from the Tesco range. Incidentally, this morning, I've just found out that um, Asda have released their own new 11 beers um, that I will go and find and I will go and buy and I will go and review. Why did I say that with a wince? Why did I wince when I talked about the new Asda Craft Beer range? Well, I'm trying to take the channel in a slightly different direction. I'm trying to use more bottle shops and I'm trying to get more kind of European lager on the channel and, and, and like great kind of lager battles and combination videos that I've got planned. Uh, but we're in supermarket season, unfortunately. If you can just bear with me for a little bit longer, we are in supermarket season. We're in, it's the beginning of the year. And at the beginning of every year, the supermarkets dump a load of craft beer on their supermarket shelves, new craft beer. So Tesco, Sainsbury's, Morrison's have done it. I get to the last beer thinking, right, let's do the things that we want to do on the channel to grow the channel and then as to go, have another 11 craft beers. Um, I'm going to give that, of course, I'm going to give this a, a, a fair crack at the whip. Um, it, it is Conway's, the first I know of it, their first New England IPA. It definitely looks different from some of the core, kind of like more mainstream New England IPA brewers that brew for the supermarkets. It definitely looks a little bit different. This could be quite exciting. It cost me £3.50 for the can. We got a two finger white head, uh, good levels of slow moving carbonation, hazy. 
it's not straw coloured, it's definitely like a hazy amber coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Mmm. But now then. This smells really good. This smells really, really good. Orange peel, tangerine, complex malts. It's like biscuit aromas coming through. A little bit of spicy pepperiness, 6% ABV. This could be a little bit different. Let's, uh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Go again. It's quite soft. It's quite drinkable. There's a little bit of a malt presence coming through, a little bit of a sweetness, a little bit of a kind of slight biscuitiness coming through. The hops are a little bit spicy, a little bit peppery, but there's no, there's no, I, There's no individual hop flavours coming through. There's no individual, like, years ago when you drank a New England IPA, or if you went to a bottle shop and bought a New England IPA, I've just drunk a fantastic double IPA from Cloudwater, which was out of this world. You're picking up individual flavours in, in the bottle shop beers, like maybe some grapefruit, maybe some orange peel. You can get some defining flavours. What I find with the supermarket New England IPA, and this being included, which is quite disappointing, is that it's just a, it's like a tropical flavour. It's like little bits of orange peel, little bits of grapefruit, tangerine, and but, but they're all too closely put together to be able to split the atom, to be able to split the flavour of... Of, of, of orange peel, some grapefruit over here, some spiciness and pepperiness. It's all a bit... And what we have to remember, I have had discussions with breweries. I have, I've been chatting with breweries over the... The breweries ringing me actually, not, not me ringing the breweries, but the breweries ringing me with, how can I put it? Maybe some concerns with my reviews of their supermarket beer. But I'm not gonna change my ways. I'm not gonna change my ways. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna like bite my tongue and, and I'm not gonna not say it because at the end of the day you guys are watching. If pressure from the breweries is over here on my shoulders, then I can take that pressure of of maybe you shouldn't be saying this. Well, actually, no, I'm going to say this because at the end of the day, I'm looking you guys in the eyeballs and you're my viewers. You're my viewers. And if I'm not honest with my viewership, if, I, if I'm not standing here being 100% completely honest with you guys, then you're not going to watch. You're not going to be interested. So I can have all the pressure over here from breweries uh, as... Uh, as, as they want to put on me, but I'm going to say the same thing with supermarket beer. Especially IPA, New England IPA. It's all very much getting very samey. It's all very samey, whether you buy 
one IPA or one New England IPA from one company, pick up another company's New England IPA. I've never had a New England IPA from Conway before. As far as I'm concerned, this is their first venture into it. But I can't help but think that, that this tastes, it looked different. I was thinking, oh, this looks pretty decent. This could be like an individual's thoughts on what a New England IPA should be, but it, it's just, It's the supermarket beer buyers we need to blame. It really is. The supermarket beer buyers, and this is from the conversations I've been having with breweries last week, is that the supermarket beer buyers are, are reaching out to these breweries and saying, hey, will you brew this style of beer? And then and, and we'll put a massive order in and, and, and get it on our shelves. And that's what's happening. Why can't the supermarket buyers realise that there's a market for great tasting lager. The reason why they don't think that there's a market for great tasting lager is because next to that great tasting lager is a pound can of Foster's and a pound can of Carlin. And I think that the, the, the supermarket buyers think that the people won't buy a premium lager. Well, I would. If there was a premium canned lager, and I mean real good quality lager now, a three pound a can, I'd go for it, I'd buy it. I'd buy it over this. I'd buy it over this. I I'm glad I started off by saying, you know, as that have just dropped another 11 beers. And, and I am, I am in a like situation now where I'm gonna reluctantly go and buy those. <coughs> Pardon me. That's better. I'm going to reluctantly go and buy these beers and reluctantly review them on the channel. And, and I've noticed, I've noticed the viewership's down. People are not watching the supermarket beers like they, like they used to. It used to be quite a big thing for any beer reviewing channel on YouTube. But I think the day... The days are numbered for, 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 for supermarket craft beer. I'm bored. You guys are bored. You've told me you're bored in the comments box. I'm looking forward really to, to getting through into like the warmer summer months on the channel where, you know, I can start up these lager battles again and, and really double down on really good quality lager while the sun's shining. That's that's where the, the, the strength of this channel lies. Not not in reviewing these half baked, half hearted supermarket New England IPAs that seem to taste all of the same. I am sorry to burst the bubble of Conway. I, I suppose they're very excited for this beer, but I don't I do not think this is the future of Conway Brewery. I do not think that, that this style of beer I think this style of beer is actually now in danger of ruining a lot of the good that's happened in beer over the last ten or so years because it's just everywhere at the moment and it's so blooming boring. Six percent ABV, four hundred and forty milliliter can. I do apologise to Conway if they put a massive effort into this beer and they're really excited and I and I've come and almost kind of like burst their bubble. But I'm at the end of my tether really with all of this. I'm at the end of my I'm at my wits end. You guys are at your wits end as well. Um, rating. If you're a massive fan of New England IPA from the supermarket, then you're probably going to love this. You're probably going to absolutely love this. But for me. I was trying to stop myself from yawning. Um, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten from Real Love Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.